In this video, I'm going to present the brain health benefits of ARA290. ARA290 is an 11 amino acid peptide that's derived from the helix B of erythropoietin, which is a hormone that's responsible for the production of red blood cells. From here, I will mention it as APO. APO, as shown in human studies, have two main physiological functions. One is hematopoiesis, which is the process that, that produces cellular components of blood and blood plasma. And it could also protect tissue. Uh, in humans, it's found that there's a fivefold difference in the dosage needed for producing hematopoiesis and tissue protection effects for apple. And therefore, in patients, th those in patients that need tissue protection only, giving apple could cause a persistent activation of, of hematopoiesis because the dosage needed the do minimum dosage needed is too high, way beyond the dosage needed for hematopoiesis. And therefore, that there could be side effects such as hemodynamic side effects or procoagulation. ARA290 is deprived of the hematopoiesis functions and therefore it does not cause hematopoietic or thrombotic side effects as EPO does. This peptide is particularly manufactured by Aaron Pharmaceuticals Incorporation. Mechanistically, ARA290 acts on the innate repair receptor, which is shown here. It has two sub-receptors, and upon cellular stress or injury, it's translocated to the membrane. And then if it's bound by either endogenous EPO or PHBSP, which is another way of saying AR290, then it could cause phosphorylation of JAK2 that activate sig signaling cascades that lead to improved tissue repair, reduce inflammation, or reduce apoptosis. Importantly, this AR290, although it has very short half-life of around two minutes, it could have persistent biological effects that last day, hours to days, probably due to the persistent signaling cascades in the IRR system. Neurobiologically, it could cross the blood-brain barrier rapidly, and in humans, it's specifically used for neuropathic pain. It has now received U.S. orphan drug and fast-track destinations for treating neuropathic pain associated with this disease called sarcoidosis. Sarcoidosis is an inflammatory organ disease characterized by small nerve fibers dysfunction, and patients often have abnormal pain sensation, loss of continuous sensation, and autonomic functions. Here I'm going to present a clinical study showing the effects of ARI290 in treating sarcoidosis associated symptoms. These patients were given subcutaneous administration of 4 mg per day of for 28 days of ARI290, and they found improvement in pain, corneal small nerve fiber density, exercise capacity, and temperature sensitivity threshold. Since temperature sensitivity is associated with small nerve fiber functions, this increased threshold means a better restoration of their small nerve fibers. These are the data from the study. In this picture, they showed the nerve fiber density from normal individuals and sarcoidosis patients before and after treatment. It's obvious that before treatment, sarcoidosis patients have much less density compared to normal individuals, but when given ARA290 treatment, they had improved density. Although may not be as, as much as normal individuals, there's still, uh, there's still a significant improvement in these patients in terms of their nerve fiber density. And this corresponds to the improvement in their cutaneous sensitivity. The investigators assessed the change in threshold to measure the cutaneous sensitivity by measuring CPT, which is cold pain threshold, HPT, which is hot pain threshold, and TSL, which is temperature sensitivity alignment. This is measuring temperature at which patients can discriminate hot or cold. And for all these three measures, ARA290 group had improved 
threshold compared to placebo group. And this means that these patients had increased threshold for temperature and that they are less sensitive to temperature. And this is important because usually this temp these patients are too sensitive to temperature changes that could impair their quality of life. For example, they may not be able to live in places that are very cold or very hot. So by improving their threshold, by decreasing their sens temperature sensitivity, they be may be able to better bear with temperature changes. They also ask qu patient questionnaires by looking at small fiber neuropathy screening list which is a questionnaire asking neurosacridosis patients about their pain and their autonomy functions associated with small nerve fiber damage. The ARA290 group patients had a greater improvement in the score, and this improvement persists on up to week 16 after the treatment. They also asked patients about brief band in brief pain inventory interference score, which asks patients about how much their pain interfere with their daily activities. And ARA290 patients reported less interference and much greater improvement. Lastly, they assessed the physical functioning in these patients because these patients had usually have a very sensitive skin that impaired their normal physical function activities. So they addressed the increase in distance walk in six minutes, and ARA290 group had much greater imp greater improvement in the amount of distance walk compared to placebo group, indicating that the ARA290 patients had much better exercise capacity. Besides sarcoidosis. Uh, there are also other potential diseases that's been investigated to see if AR290 can treat them. For example, in preclinical studies in rodent models, it's found that AR290 can be useful for anti-inflammation in diseases like multi multiple sclerosis, Guillain-Barre syndrome, which is a rare disorder in which your immune system attacks your nerve, and the traumatic brain injury. Uh, in epileptic rodent models, it's also found that ARA290 can increase hippocampal cell proliferation and neurogenesis and improve cognitive deficits. In human, uh, in healthy humans, it's also found that ARA290 may be able to modulate some aspects of general emotional processing. And therefore, in the future, there should be more clinical studies done to assess the effect of ARA290 on other type of neuroinflammatory diseases, as well as the psychiatric effects of ARA290. ARA290 is a peptide, and because peptide is easily digested in our intestinal system, right now, peptides are only administered through subcutaneous way. But because of that, it's also less available, less accessible to people, so it will be much more available for people if it can be orally taken, and this might be an interesting direction of future study. Since um, just recently, a study reported that by using a double bridge approach to stabilize the conformation of therapeutic peptides, these peptides become proteolytically resistant. This peptide did not in does not include did not in include ARA290, but future studies can extend to other type of peptides, including ARA290. And by improving this double bridge approach, AR oral form of ARA290 may be developed in the future. This is the end of the video. Thank you for watching.